Okay, so the revelation that God's given me today is sort of a startling one. Uh, something totally unexpected and it's pretty exciting. Basically, I was meditating on, um, you know, how God uh, wanted us to live like heaven on earth and, and all of a sudden God interrupted my thought and he took me to Genesis 126 um, where it says that, that he created man and he said, uh, let's create them in our likeness and let them have dominion over all the earth. Subdue and have dominion. And then in Psalms 8 it repeats that and then again in the New Testament it repeats that. And he said, he said when he threw, he threw Satan out of heaven, he threw Satan to, to earth and Satan messed up earth. That's why in Genesis 1 the earth was void and darkness was upon the earth. Because uh, whatever was on the earth before, um, some people think maybe dinosaurs, <clears throat> um, whatever was on the earth before was destroyed when Satan got thrown to the earth because Satan took authority and dominion over, over the earth and he just wrecked, wrecked it and made a mess of it. So the Holy Spirit was brooding over the earth and over the waters on the earth and uh, God created the, the universe and the, you know created everything on earth and created man, he, he re-decorated uh, it, so to speak. And he created a Garden of Eden in part of the earth, and he told man to have dominion and authority and to rule and subdue and to multiply that garden all over the earth because he didn't want the earth to be in a mess that the Satan had made it. So the revelation that he gave me was, just like he created angels, the purpose of angels are to minister. He created man for dominion. Man was created to take back the earth that God gave, that uh, Satan stole and made a mess of. So, I don't know if I explained it really well, but what, what I mean is that um, God created angels to be ministering spirits, to be servants, to minister to him, and, and then to minister to man, but he created man to take dominion on the earth. Okay, this is how God showed me. He said, just like you hire a car mechanic to work on your car, or just like you hire a barber or hairdresser to work on your hair, God created man to have dominion and authority over all the earth. And um, that's, that's the purpose that we were created, our goal and our purpose was to have authority and to, to take authority and to take dominion and subdue all the earth and to bring it to take authority and to subdue it meaning to bring it in line with God's will and God's will is that everything on earth be like it is in heaven because earth is a copy of heaven and God wants us to live on earth as we will in heaven so that's basically what he's saying is man was created to bring this earth into God's will. So you might ask what is God's will? God's will is heaven, uh, living on earth like we will in heaven. Um, and look at what Jesus did. Jesus declared justice. Justice is getting back everything God intended us for us to, uh, for us to have and everything that the blood of Jesus paid for us to have. And Jesus healed the sick and the deceased and the lame and the paralyzed. He uh, healed the deaf and the blind. Um, he raised the dead. He cast out demons. And he preached the gospel to the poor, meaning that once they got a hold of the kingdom, they wouldn't have to be poor no more. Poverty is of the devil, not God. Um, of course, the love of the, the love of money instead of the love of God will make you poor. Um, anyway, so that's what we want everything to line up with the Word of God, everything He told us to do, and everything Jesus did. That's God's perfect will uh, to live like heaven on earth and to do those things.